forever, O Lord. Your word is firmly fixed in the heavens. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You've established the earth, and it stands fast. By your appointment, they stand fast this day. For all things are your servants. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. I am yours. Save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked lie in wait to destroy me, but I consider your testimonies. I have seen a limit to all perfection, but your commandment is exceedingly broad. As a portion of Psalm 119, the Psalms of the prayer book of the Old Testament saints and us in the New Testament as well. Jesus reminds us of the importance of prayer. We had just gone through Monday, Thursday last week, and Jesus shows us on that holy night the importance, the value of prayer. We read from Matthew 26. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. And taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is very sorrowful even to death. Remain here and watch with me. And going a little further, he fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. And he came to his disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So, you could not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray, that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, for the second time, he went away and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. And again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words again. And he came to the disciples and said to them, Sleep and take your rest later on. See the hours at hand. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. See my betrayer is at hand. Three times on that night, Jesus prays. He asks his disciples to stay awake, to watch, and pray. Jesus prays for the Im immediate need that that cup be taken from him, the cup of the Father's wrath that would be poured out upon Jesus at the cross. If there is any other way, Father, take that cup from me. Of course, we know, Jesus knew, that there was no other way. Jesus must drink down the Father's wrath against our sin upon the cross. And Jesus does so willingly. Not my will, but thine be done. Every day is a wonderful chance for us Christians to pray for our immediate needs, the needs of the body that face us each day, and the needs of the soul that face us each day as well. We pray, as Jesus did. We pray going back to Scripture, praying back to God His own words. We open to the book of Psalms and we begin praying. We open to Scripture, we read a section, and we pray back to God what we have heard God tell us. We pray not for God, for God knows all of our thoughts, all of our prayers before we speak them. He knows our needs and answers before we ask. We pray for our own selves. We pray to remind us of what God has done for us. We pray knowing that God does indeed hear us as he heard his son Jesus in the garden. We are very blessed, Lord Emmanuel, to pray together. We do so together here in worship 
and we do so at home, at least Gary and Mary Wiesner, and you'll be seeing a picture on the screen of the Garden of Gethsemane, the place where Jesus prayed. It was not in the temple or a synagogue. It was out in the garden. You are invited during this difficult time to pray. Wherever you are, at your home, at a garden, in your car, pray. Ask your Lord and Savior for your immediate needs and trust in him to provide. His will will be done. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we rejoice that you send us your Son, Jesus Christ, who prayed in the garden. He prayed that that cup would be taken from him, and you said no. You laid on him all of our sin, and Jesus died in our place, paying the full price. As we pray, you do hear us, and you answer us by your mercy and grace. Grant us to be diligent in prayer, to pray without ceasing, knowing that you do hear and answer. Grant us to trust in your will. Thy will be done. For we ask all of this in Jesus our Savior. Amen. Thank you for joining me today for this devotional time. I'm Pastor Boyer here at Emmanuel Lutheran Church in Seaboy. I love you. The Lord loves you. And I will talk to you again soon.